Uh, greetings, everyone. Residents of some parts of central Johannesburg are facing uh, serious water shortages. In some places, they've gone for a week without water. Um, the Johannesburg City Council on the 4th of uh, May 2023 released a press statement on why there's a shortage of water. Uh, part, part of the statement says <clears throat> the technical issue at Uvel Pump Station continues to impact water supply to parts of Bramfontein, Yovel, Beria, and the Hillbrook. Customers in the pump station zone, especially in high-rise buildings, are impacted by no water. Specialist technical service providers have been arranged for further assessment. Alternative water supply is being arranged for affected areas through mobile tankers. Further updates will be provided. Uh, Johannesburg Water apologizes for the inconveniences caused. That, that is part of... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, an extract from the statement by the city of Johannesburg. Uh, Councillor Jack, uh, Councillor Jack of Ward um, 64 wrote this. Uh, I got it in one of our groups. <coughs> it is circulating. It has not dead, but we believe that uh, he wrote it on Sunday, uh, the seventh of uh, May, 2023. It says, "Afternoon, Batlali. Our meeting with the Jobbeck Water Head of Operations took place." and discuss the short-term and long-term solutions. A short-term will revive PAM4 and it will operate along, alone until a long-term solution. Concurrently, Johannesburg Water Committee is sitting tomorrow, meaning Monday, today, the 8th of May 2023, to approve an emergency procurement to get two new pumps. Once it is approved, it will take two weeks to complete I must also indicate that the, the, that the pumps at Uvel Reservoir are over 40 years and the technical technician advised that they should be replaced. <coughs> they were installed by an American company and advised them to procure local. I will update you with the verified information from technicians who have agreed with all councillors of the inner city to meet Johannesburg Water Management tomorrow, uh, meaning today, the 8th of, 8th of May, to pressurize them further. Uh, uh, tomorrow, meaning today, the 8th of May, is 50 days without water and not two weeks, and I agree that the situation poses a health hazard. Please note that behind the scenes, there is a lot of work and pressure done by all councillors. It's a statement <coughs> circulating on a WhatsApp group from a councillor Jack of Ward 64. Uh, we are also informed that uh, some residents in one high-rise building in Hillbro uh, consumed water from a um, fire extinguisher. They were getting water from fire extinguisher areas. Uh, we are told that uh, um, <coughs> They were vomiting uh, uh, um, <clears throat> because because of that water and the, the running stomachs. You can imagine if you have a running tummy and uh, the building does not have water, that is a serious health hazard. Uh, so according to <clears throat> Councillor Jack of Ward 64, uh, if what what he says in this brief uh, statement that it might take two weeks. Uh, uh, to install another pump <coughs> as a short term. So it means uh, uh, residents will uh, continue not to have water for the next two weeks unless something is done urgently. Uh, uh, we know that uh, this is causing serious problems for families with children, uh, especially in high-rise buildings where even if it is raining in, Johannesburg, in parts of Johannesburg, you cannot get rainwater. Uh, uh, but in places where <clears throat> it's not in high-rise buildings, people can uh, try to uh, receive uh, uh, water from direct from the rain, which they can use for their bathing, uh, toilets, laundry, and so forth. Uh, so it's it's a it's a it's a health hazard situation. Please share your own experiences. In one chat group, uh, uh, comrades in Yovel, they were saying 
they have not had water for uh, at least a month. Uh, that is, they say they last had water from their taps uh, end of March. I'm not sure how true it is, but this is what they said in one group. So it's a serious, serious problem. Please share with us your own experiences if you are in Greater Johannesburg. I saw in you know, uh, one of our African diaspora <coughs> forum chat group where one comrade was saying uh, there's also problems in Western Cape, uh, but we are here to get more information in terms of the places that are affected. Uh, but please share with us your own experiences where you are uh, in terms of water shortages. Like this video, circulate, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel. And of course, as you can see, we are moving uh, to the fourth position in the English Premier League for the Champions League. We'll discuss this later on. Goodbye.